Hello Extended Day friends and anybody else that wants to follow along. Today I thought I would do a little science experiment. Um, I think you've all done experiments with baking soda and vinegar and seen the reaction of things. Um, but I don't think you've seen dancing rice before. I've never heard anybody talk to me about dancing rice. So I thought I would do that today and you can see the cause, the effect and what ingredients it takes to make some rice dance. Okay, first thing we need to do is get our materials in order. You need some <clears throat> instant rice, not rice that you cook on top of the stove for a long time, but instant rice is the kind that you boil the water, put the rice in, turn the flame off, cover it, and let it sit. That's the kind of rice you need, instant rice. You need a clear jar so we can see what's happening. Uh, some baking soda. Some vinegar. Some water. Of course, our measuring uten utensils so we know how much to put in. And food coloring. Now, food coloring is optional. Sometimes you can have a hard time finding food coloring in the grocery store like I did, but... I persevered and I found it. Okay, so I'm going to use food coloring today because I think it creates a more dramatic effect. Okay, I think I'm going to use blue. Hopefully we can see the rice through the blue. And let's get started. Okay, first I'm going to fill this jar probably about three quarters of the way full with water. That looks about right. Then, oh, put some drops. I put three in. And I'm going to use this measuring spoon that I have. I hope we can see the rice through it. If we can't, I'll try another color. All right. I need a tablespoon, which is usually your biggest, of baking soda. Let's see if it causes any reaction <clears throat> whatsoever. Now, I actually see that the water got cloudy. It is no longer clear. So that's one observation I have. Okay. Now. We need a quarter of a cup of the instant uncooked rice. And put it in. Let's see if this causes any reaction. Putting it in slowly, seeing if that makes a difference. All right, I'm going to take my measuring spoon and I'm going to stir it up for a minute and then it says to use one or two tablespoons of vinegar so I'm going to start with one and see what happens if it makes some damp makes the rice dance at all pouring it in and if you can see it foamed up at the top And you can hear it too. You can hear the fizz. I see some rice dancing. I'm going to add my second tablespoon. Whoa. It, they really are dancing. All right, so that was the recommended amount. But I think I'm going to try to add a little bit more. See if I can get more of this rice to dance. Whew, I can really hear the fizz now. I can see the rice dancing. So, it really does matter what ingredients you put in to see what kind of reaction you're going to get. 
when we added first the food coloring, the water went from clear to cloudy. And then when we add the rice, you could hear the the fizz. When we added the vinegar, the rice actually started dancing. So, you can think about your observations and we got a totally different reaction from other things that have been used with baking soda and vinegar. And uh, it's something that you can certainly do at home. And I see it's still dancing. And I'm going to check back later to see what happens. Alrighty. Thanks for joining. Be well. Be safe. And I hope to see you soon.